but it is West Tennessee Delta Heritage Center. Hello. Do you mind if I video our tour? No, that's fine. My mom has come here many times and said that I had to bring my kids, and so I'm thrilled to be here. Okay. And she no, said that y'all have a sign in, do you? Yes, if you have this sign, I guess we we'll Thank you. Down the hallway, on down past the... Can we help you? So where do you like to start? Huh? Where do you just begin? Anywhere. Any, we Any got other? museum down there, West Tennessee. Thank you. Got museum. I've been so excited to come here. Yeah. So thank y'all. Uh, this is for the uh, wildlife. Okay. I'm looking at the rest of okay. So, do we know whose instruments those were? Uh, the drums we bought, the Pearl uh, guitar, uh -huh. the Gibson, belonged to Stacy Dean Campbell. Yes. She was a country music yeah. in the 60s, uh, 70s. Uh, the Dobro came out of a um, music store in Clarksdale, and I'm not sure who the Martin, uh, the Martin belonged to. Okay. But it's, it's all right, cool. Thank you. I, I've wanted to come here for so long. Where are you from? Uh, I'm actually from Nashville, uh, but my uh, so many members of my family have come through here, and every time they go past here, they come back. Oh. And so I've been dying to come. Well, good. Yeah. Thank you. Around. I appreciate it. Oh, cotton rolls. There you go, y'all. The real thing. Wow. I'm trying to, sorry. That old saddle. Yes, this is at exit 56. Exit 56 on I-40. You cannot strengthen the weak by weakening the strong. You cannot help small men by tearing down big men. You cannot help the poor by destroying the rich. You cannot lift the wage earner by pulling down the wage payer. You cannot keep out of trouble by spending more than your income. You cannot further the brotherhood of man by inciting class hatreds. You cannot establish security on borrowed money. You cannot build character and courage by taking away a man's initiative and independence. You cannot help men permanently by doing for them what they could and should do themselves. That's lovely. Let's see.
hiking stick. West Tennessee Cotton Museum. Oh, we can't touch them. These were the real books. On a thermometer. Eighteen eighty one Humboldt. Of cotton. I'm over here. Oh. Yeah, just don't get my shot. The floor loom, the big old fashioned floor loom has a frame made of upright pieces of timber. So that's what they would use to make, to make fabric out of the cotton. That's a butter churn, isn't it? Without the thing in it. Oh, look at that. Oh, God. Look at the little piano. Oh, wow. I don't know who will watch this or care, but I hope you enjoy it. We're in, uh, I said I'm at a cotton museum in just east of Memphis. We had to get out and stretch and we ran across it. Oh, you gotta touch me. Color cotton. Growing colored cotton began thousands of years ago. Around 2700 BC in Indo Pakistan, Egypt, and Peru. It grew in natural colors. Huh, huh, huh. Yeah, right. Well, he, and he's been that. Yeah. Right. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. That's humongous. I, know, I, I think what I'm, what I'm going to do is when um, I come back in August, we'll either, I'll either invite him over to help me on a project or more than likely help on some projects around the, the uh, Milford house. Uh, oops, that was me. <laughs> it's a plantation belt. Yeah. Cotton ginning process. A Roller gin. Yeah. I'm not that worried about him because I think he's doing that. But, I mean, he's into everything. So, yeah. So, I, I, but maybe. You know, I think what we need is green react and you know, lots of empty gas. Yeah. 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 
in, in, in very, yeah, no. <laughs> I went to her a little bit or maybe one or two times in the last week and never said a word to her because she was off there or off the distance, but I managed to get to her around a little bit yesterday. And, and uh, but yeah, she's <laughs> hard to read her. Sorry, the glares make it very difficult. Is it real cotton? Yeah. Yeah, that's real cotton. Oh, check it out. Oh, wow. This is too much to go over everything that... There's just too many things in here. Last Drug Inc. Oh no, company. Hey, Hopefully baby the fishy. The They've all been off over here. Folks, this okay, is this is from the Hatchie River. Small stream, tank to the left. Hey, babies. Like Aren't you land. cute? Y'all want some food, don't you? Still enjoying this timeless river. Oh, look at that. I sure do appreciate sharing my story with you. Oh. And I hope you enjoy your visit to Hatchie River. Look at them. Watching me, watching you. Isn't that what you look at you? Look at you. You cute little thing. That's the man uh, that the voice is supposed to be coming from. Explaining about the Hatchie River, humans and the Hatchie River. Alligator gar. God, look at the size of that fish. Oh my God. A duck decoy. A turkey box call.
that's a Hardeman County, uh, Tennessee map. Okay, move over a little bit so I can thank you. <laughs> These are found in Hatchie River. Whew. Water scorpion. Giant water bug. That sucker is giant. It's larger than it appears on the screen. A beaver is the largest North American rodent. Evidently, a beaver might have eaten from that piece of wood. Oh, wow. Humorous from what animal? Thoracic vertebrae. Okay, it's from That's amazing. A water level recorder. An oxygen meter, a model 54 oxygen meter. Howdy, folks. My name is Luther Windrow. You can call me Uncle Luther. I'm going to miss my favorite place in the whole wide world, Hatchie River. Why don't you take a load off your feet? Have a seat. Let me tell you a little story. <laughs> My great grandfather came on a wagon train in 1823. He was just 12 years old, and well, they settled around these parts. Oh, How difficult it was to live back then, I can only imagine. All the challenges we faced. Well, they were Sean, if you get on Survivor, guys, you need to know how to make these. Now, wild animals, why, night. Wolf howl, pinter scream, elk roam the forest, and bears raid the cornfield. During the fall, the skies were dark. All the passenger pigeons blossomed. Sometimes stretched ten miles wide, a hundred miles long. Wow, how things had changed. Passenger pigeons were known they were driven to extinction. Wolves, bears, and elk. Nutbush, Tennessee, birthplace of Tina Turner. Such a beautiful woman. I don't work not. Alex Harvey. Like those boots, man. Wow. Sequin coat, rhinestone studded hat, and photograph donated by Miss Denise LaSalle. 
I hope I said that right. Check that out. It. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, crap. Elvis Aaron Presley. Harley Davidson black leather jacket from Elvis's personal wardrobe. The Piccaninny's Paradise. Check that out. Okay, I think, I think I've hit everything. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. Ha, 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 look at it. Them do boys are at it again, man. Fast and Furious. The Mystery Machine, Scooby Man. Oh, wow. Sorry, I'm dropping stuff. Give me a second. Okay, sorry. RC, you might like this train. I think I've hit it all. I hope, I hope someone enjoyed this. It's, I didn't just do this for me, but everything I heard about how wonderful it was is. So I hope y'all enjoyed it.